your listen right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip <laughs> that started from this rocket board aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty um. sailor and the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers and sailor, <laughs> okay, so of course we all remember uh, Gilligan's Island. Favorite love, show, right? Didn't I you love Gilligan's Island. Right? I that mean, was awesome. Oh my goodness. So, so who's your my, favorite character? Uh, my favorite character, I think, is Gilligan because he was... Um, Goofy. He, he, was, he was the one having the most fun. <laughs> He was. He was. Yeah, he didn't have any worries, or he yeah. just was himself. She's had a good I time. love Marianne. Oh, Marianne, what a babe. Well, not because she's a babe, but she she was. Is. Is. Okay. But, uh, you know, I just thought she was just so sweet. And when I did some looking up of the characters now, some have moved on, passed on. But she is still alive, and she uh, is, like, I think in her 70s now, and and uh looks great i mean she she looks like marianne and a little bit of uh family history my cousin Ari uh used to be her hairdresser in uh beverly hills golly i'd love to ask him about her she just Everything seems like a really was neat great. lady he, he was also dolly parton's hairdresser and yeah, yeah, yeah. he said great things about both of them very cool all right, so we have a very nautical theme today because nautical, nautical, <laughs> right? <You're kind> of <laughs> oh, I'm not. Because today's day of the word is kind of about ships and boats and storms and waves okay. and stuff fish? like that. Any fish in it? No fish, I'm on. But we could, you could add that if you like. Boats and water look like fish. I, I, I'm so obsessed with fishing that whenever yes. we see some oh kind of a, a fish pond on the side of the road, I want to pull over and fish it, <laughs> even if it's a no trespassing. I've been you catching. Know, we come home from uh, somewhere and we have to stop a couple of times before we get home. I'm like, really, Armand? I'm yeah. ready to get home. <laughs> on the way home from Bush Gardens the other day, I saw this great little pond on my navigator <laughs> right up the highway, and all I saw was a sign. Uh, don't harass the alligator. Oh my God! And I was throwing my lure in, and the minute my lure hit the water, this alligator started coming. It was raining. Me. I stayed in the car, you just on my phone. But uh, yeah, you're you're crazy, Armand. But you did catch some good ones yesterday. Yesterday was my biggest day. I caught almost a five-pound tilapia, and a six-point-three-pound largemouth. What did you bass. name him? Uh, <laughs> the bass name was Ed Sheeran. Right. Uh, it's a whole inside joke. We'll talk about that another time. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, we haven't done one from home in a while because we were. Uh, few weeks. Yeah, so it's good to be back home doing it at home. It does. Let's see what our friend has to say. Okay. Alexa, do you have a sailor joke? I don't have a joke about that. Alexa, how about a sailor joke? Why was the boat crying? No reason. It was just a Boston whaler. A oh, Boston, Boston whaler. whaler. Oh, that's <laughs> oh cute. my! Well, I think I'll grab my flute. All right. So let's uh, do the the daily word uh, for Tuesday. We're doing yesterday's today, uh, and it is inspired by Romans chapter twelve, verse two. I am centered in spirit tethered ships that float securely in a coastal anchorage are rocked by the waves and wind, withstanding the conditions while remaining protected. Damage may ensue, but the boats are safe and will not be tossed into the rocks or lost at sea. Like the ship, I too am securely anchored in God. Aware that I am centered in spirit, I can better handle my life's conditions. <clears throat> Fear abates, and I am able to think more clearly and make better decisions. Centered in God, I am more loving and compassionate. I may still face the same problems, but I am not overwhelmed. Secure in God, I can weather any storm that comes my way. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds. 
so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. So we're going to take a little three-hour well, tour. Well, oh, yeah, but I was just going to mention, mention a loss that we had. Well, yeah, we just found out. Yeah. We just found out that Eddie Van Halen has gone up to rock and roll heaven. Yeah. Well, he was about 65 years old. Young. And he had cancer. Yeah, what a great rock and roller, huh? He was something else. I remember, yes. uh, I remember doing air guitar uh, to "You Really Got Me" in a club called the Agora <clears throat> in Hollandale, Florida, when I was at University of Miami, getting my pre-med degree. Go figure. Anyway, All right. so you ready to go on a little boat trip? Yeah, let's go on a three-hour tour. Just sit right back and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip. All right. Love a faithful trip. All right. Is that the right village in that? Here we go. Now we are on our boat trip. It used to be the SS and Minnow. Yes. The SS Cod. Now yes. it's the SS God. God. God is always there to guide us. So we are on this trip, and we know that we are taken care of and centered. And when we're centered in God, we are always anchored in, in spirit. Now, sometimes we lose our bearing, get That's a little right. sway. We need to uh, find something solid, like some place to land. Oh, that's right. But first of all, should we introduce ourselves? Hello. This is Skipper Armand. Arr. I'm Duckhead Jilligan. Jilligan. That's right. You're looking hot over there, Jilligan. Oh, thank you, Skipper. You look okay, like a so pretty naughty, Cole. <laughs> Our right, let's see if we have a way to see the shore when we get on board. That's right, so sometimes we need to see things. When things seem out of focus, we need to use our God scope to bring us back to center. That's a God scope. Oh, come on, Armand. Size does not matter when it comes to that. It does to me. It does? Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, when we get lost, or turned around or forget what we are here to do, we know that our compass points us in the right direction. We're and here. our compass always points for God. That's right. That's right. Because God is always there to guide us, direct yeah. us. Every direction. God, right. God, God. That's right. It's a good thing. If you're going to be on a ship, you got to learn how to tie knots. Here is a nautical knot. Here's a little uh, little joke for you. Uh, they asked this knot, are you a rope or aren't you? Yeah. And he said, I'm afraid not. Afraid, afraid not. Afraid not. <laughs> that was a gift of joke. <laughs> okay, Jillian, were you just on the poop deck? Oh, it wasn't me. No, 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 no. The minute wins, we must be shifting. We're going to have one heck of a trip. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It's getting serious. Okay. okay. So sometimes things get a little rough. That's right. That is right. It's a storm now. And so even in bad weather, we trust and know it's all well. That is right. Oh boy. I know that we're going to be just fine. Oh, that is some bad lightning. And I guess some, uh, oh God, the wind is taking care of us. We know that God is going to take care of us and that we are centered in God and all is well. And we never get overwhelmed with whatever situation comes to us. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. All right, all right.
We made it through the storm. Oh, we made it through the storm. God is our anchor. Right? The last one. The last one. The last one. The last What's what do you think? That's it. That's it, folks. All right. Have a great time. Have a great, great day. That's what it's time. Is this crazy? I don't know. It's a little bit crazy. All right. But here we go. How much does it cost for a pirate to get a peg and a hook? I don't know. An arm and a leg. An arm and a leg.